It has come from Krishna. Uh, so they are not different. The energy and the energetic are not different, identical. And Krishna being omnipotent, he can uh, do anything by his energy. Uh, that is that is the meaning of omnipotent. Uh, uh, even a, in ordinary things also, just like a man has got enough money, that money is energy of the man. We can understand. So with that money he can do so many things. Uh, although the money is in the bank and he is at home by his order, so many things can be done. He can start a big factory, business, everything, although he is in the home. It is very easy to understand because the energy is there. Uh, similarly, Krishna may be far away from him, us. Uh, even you think Krishna is not far away. Krishna is within our heart. But even if we think that Krishna is living in Goloka Vrindavan, <coughs> which is unlimitedly far away from here, because this universe you cannot estimate. You can see the border of the universe, the round sky, but nobody can reach there. There is no such means. The scientists calculate it will take forty thousands of years to reach there by the light here. So they are so much proud of material science. They see the sun, the moon, they cannot go there. Cannot go there. Uh, there are so many planets uh, we see at night. There are actually planets like this planet. But who can go there? Uh, you are so limited. Uh, so how you can go to the planet where Krishna lives, Bolokobinda? You cannot go even the reach even this material planets. What to speak of the spiritual planets? Uh, the spiritual plan as means crossing this wall, the sky, seven layers of wall, earth, water again. Uh, and each layer is ten times bigger than the other layer. This is the construction of the universe. So you have to penetrate through these layers, then you come to the spiritual sky. And the spiritual sky, uh, there are millions of planets, Vaikuntha planets. And the topmost is Golukabinda. So just imagine how far it is. Krishna's abode. Therefore, in the Brahma Samhita it is stated, Panthastu Koti Satavasya Sampragamya Vayu Rathapi Manasu Munipangavana. So Pastija Prabhada Sina Avichinta Tati Govinda Vadi Purusam Tavahamdala. You have got now aeroplanes, that's right, uh, but you cannot reach even the material planets. So if you want to go to the spiritual planet, uh, then you can make an aeroplane uh, which has speed of the mind uh, or the speed of the air. Uh, those who are physicists, they know what is the speed of air, what is the speed of light. So. Uh, uh, the above the speed, the speed of mind. Uh, those are physicists, they know, they know the, uh, how speedy is air and light. The mind is, is more, still more speedy. You have got experience. Uh, now you are sitting here, immediately, within a second, you can go to America, USA, India. Immediately, you can go to your home, you can see things, uh, with mind, of course, uh, mind speed. So, in Brahma Sangita says that even with, you can manufacture one aeroplane which has the speed of the mind, which has the speed of the air, panthastu koti satavasya sampragamo, and with that speed you go on for many millions of years. Still, you will not find where is Golubhinda. Uh, still, you will not find. 
पंथास्तकोटिशतवस्त संप्रगम्य वायुरथा भी मनसो मुनि पुंगवाण इट इज नॉट दैट द प्रीवियस आचार्यस एंड से डी नॉट नो वट इज एरो प्लेन वट इज स्पीड हाउ टू रैन डोंट थिंक फुलिसली देर इज एज इफ दैन मैन इट इज नॉट इन थर्ड नॉट इवन फोर्थ क्लास टेंथ क्लास देर आर सो नाइस एरोप्लेन नाउ हियर इज द सजेस्टन दैट यू कैन मैनुफैक्चर an aeroplane which can run on the speed of mind now here is a suggestion do it you can manufacture a aeroplane which may run at the speed of the air uh, they are thinking that they at the speed of the light if we can manufacture one aeroplane is still it will take 40000 of years to reach the topmost planet Uh, then thinking, if it is possible, but uh, so far uh, we can see those who are busy with bolts and nuts, uh, how this dull brain can they can manufacture such things? That is not possible. Uh, it requires another brain. Uh, the yogis can go. The yogis can go. Uh, just like the Bhasmani, he. Uh, went to Vaikuntha Loka, and he saw personally Lord Vishnu in the Vaikuntha Loka for being excused because his disc was after him to kill. He insulted Vishnu. Uh, that is another story. So, so in this way, uh, actually, human life is meant for that purpose to understand. Uh, God and His potencies, and to revive our old relationship with Him. Uh, that is the main business. Uh, but unfortunately, they are being engaged in factories and other work to work like hogs and dogs, and their whole energy is being spoiled. Uh, not only spoiled, but Their characters, uh, they are working so hard. So after working so hard, they must drink uh, intoxication. Then after drinking, they must eat meat. After this deep combination, they require sex. So in this way, they are kept in the darkness. Uh, and here, this verses have resolved that he says warning. Uh, He is one. He is. He is speaking to his sons, but we can take the lesson. Then he says, "Nayang deho deho bhajang nilope kastan kaman arhati viru jangri." Kaman means the necessities of life. You can get your necessities of life very easily uh, by tilling the field. You get grains, and if there is cow, you get milk. Uh, that's all. That is sufficient. But the leaders are making plans that if they are satisfied with that farming world, little grains and meal, then who will work in the factory? Uh, therefore, they are taxing uh, so that uh, you cannot live even simple life. This is the position. Even if you desire, the modern leaders will not allow you. Uh, will force you. To work like dogs and hogs and asses. This is the belief. But still, uh, we have to refrain from such uh, unnecessary hard labor. Uh, uh, it may be that uh, government may take action against me because I am speaking something revolutionary. Yes, but that is the fact. Uh, why we should work? God has made provision for the birds, beasts, animals, ants, and if I am uh, devotee of God, He will not give me food. What I have done wrong? So don't be uh, agitated in that point. You will have all your necessities of life, but you remain fixed up in your determination in Krishna consciousness. Uh, Don't be agitated by this nonsense. Deal. 
Thank you very much.